Today in Captain B Garage, we got the Sea-Doo upside down. We're doing the hull. We're gonna paint it, as you can see, I already started. Remove the stickers and roll and tip the bottom. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna clean up the hull before you start painting. Obviously, you wanna get all these stickers and decals off of it. <clears throat> so I found the quickest way that you could do that is you take a standard heat gun, hair dryer, whatever you want, a scraper, razor blade scraper, very carefully. We have some goof off and a paintbrush. I'll show you what we can do. So you take this, heat up the sticker pretty good. Nothing too crazy. Just heat it up and very lightly. Get under there and get the whole thing off. If you go too much with it, with the heat gun, it, you'll very easily dig into the gel coat. So you want to go light with the heat gun or hair dryer. Keep it a good distance away. And just scrape it off. Now, as you can see, what's left behind is the gray. That's the blue. <clears throat> Some people are going to try heat up the glue and take it off. That's where the goof off comes in. I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so we got most of the stickers removed. Um, and all we have is left the glue. So I started taking most of the stuff off. And like I say, goof off, pro strength remover. Uh, you get this at any hardware store. Uh, is I see is the best stuff for removing this. It's pretty easy. Uh, it's a little tedious uh, sometimes, but what I found is the best thing is take a paintbrush, just da dust a little bit on the paintbrush, and then just get that going. And you gotta work kind of quick. Then you take your razor blade and just scrape it off. Scrape it off. And what happens is it will dry pretty quick. And you get all the glue and snot everything else off. Uh, but it will dry pretty quick. So you gotta you gotta work quick with it, but also careful because you don't want to dig into the gel coat either, which you will do. Um, yeah, once you get the snot off you, <clears throat> then I just go one letter at a time, get that a little bit wet, do that, just douse it a little bit, and nice and lightly, like that. Very lightly because you don't want to dig into the gel coat. And now all this extra stuff, what I do afterwards, after I have the uh, all the letters off and you get all this little snot left over, then after that I'll take a, a rag <laughs> and wet it with the uh, goof off, soak it in, and then uh, clean it. Because um, what happens is if you just go straight off with a rag and you don't try and scrape it like this, all this glue and this snot here gets built up in the rag and you end up just wiping it all over the place. So what I like to do is just scrape it off first with this and then use the rag to do the final cleanup of all this other little stuff. So I'm gonna continue just with this extra couple letters, do this and then we're gonna just quickly rough up the bottom of the hull and then we'll roll and tip it. Okay, so now we got the letters off. We sanded down the uh, a quick sanding, uh, just scuffing up uh, with a normal scuff pad, the whole hull, cleaned it all up. I did this just to see, I just wanted to see how everything would spread on this quick, um, and just to see the best method. So, what we have here, I have left over from last time, is you have your interlock sprite side, and your interlux solvent 30, 333. So you want to mix this. Um, they say roughly 15, 20%. I'd go a little more, 25%. 25% uh, 333 to this. Uh, it does not have to be a whole thing if you measure it off because uh, it does go a long way. And mix it actually already in the can itself. So this is already pre mixed. So I don't have to uh, worry about it. <clears throat> so now what they talk about is rolling and tipping where you actually take a roller. Now, they normally you want to do a foam roller, uh, but I've also had luck with the little 
you know, uh, just a regular uh, a wool roller too. But what you want to do is you want to roll it on, and when you roll it on, you can see a lot of air bubbles. So then you take a real high quality brush and you very lightly just go like this over it to spread it out. And if you mix it right, the 333 and the bright side, it will, you can throw this stuff on there and it will come out even smooth. Uh, and you want to do a couple coats on it, you want to do it, maybe rough it up a little bit, do another coat, rough it up, and maybe a third coat and really have it, uh, have it good. So I'm going to get a, uh, a little pan. Now I also have a foam brush that we're going to try also. We're going to see which is the best method for it. In the back by the outdrive, uh, by the jet pump, I'm going, to tape, I'm going to put a bag over that and I'm actually going to spray it. I can spray this too with the spray gun, but that's not the point of rolling and tipping. To show you how the average person could just roll and tip it. Uh, so that I'm going to spray. So this we're going to tape this off. Tape this off here. There's a little valley underneath here that even if it runs down, no one's going to see this here. I'm going to just let it run down here. It's getting painted in here anyway, so it actually uh, makes it nicer. This is getting um, uh, hydro turfed, so I'm not worried if I get it on there. Uh, so I'm just going to get everything set up and we'll start rolling and tipping. Okay, so the first method we're going to use is just a foam brush. Um, you dip it in there, it holds plenty of paint. So you want to just make sure it's so you don't get a lot of runs. You get most of it out. And then, very easily, you can get some runs. So you want to keep up with it quick. You go different ways with it. But like I said, this stuff, what it is, is it's almost like a self-leveling. So what happens is, you... Uh, as you do it, you'll see, even with the brush, you'll see the brush strokes, and then it just levels itself right out, which is very, very nice. And again, you're going to have to do a couple of coats on it. Because now it's a white hole and you're covering it up, so you're going to get a couple coats on this. Um, so that's the first way of doing it. Next is just a typical brush. You can do a typical brush, just mix this up pretty good. Just like that. And again, like I said, it's self leveling. So even if you initially get the brush strokes, you, you give it some time and then you just kind of, uh, it'll, it'll level itself out and it will even out and you won't have to do that. <clears throat> if you do find some spots where you really want it uh, once it dries, you really don't like it, you can always wet sand this down. That's a beautiful thing about when you paint is you always wet sand everything out. Everything could be fixed. You can always wet sand it. So you can do just a straight up brush. And again, when you go over it, you want to just go over very lightly just to get all the air bubbles out. And if you mix this up like this, a little watery, it's going to take a little more to cover, but it evens out so much nicer as far as the brush strokes. It makes it that much easier to work with. Get on there and then like I said you just go over nice and lightly. And once we do this I'll show you the end uh, product before I even do any wet sand, and I'll show you exactly what it looks like from an angle. Uh, I don't know if you can see it like that now, but it's very easy. You just do that, and it, it, it's amazing how it levels itself out. Again, this is Interlux's bright side, 
and you mix it with the Interlux 333 brush and solvent. Now again, if you want to roll it, I don't have a rolling pan right now, I'm just going to dip it in, just to show you how easy it is to roll it. But now look, I don't know if you can see it on there, look at all these bubbles. That's the problem with rolling, but what they say is roll and tip is you roll it on just to get it going quick, and then you just tip it very lightly, keep the brush nice and wet to get all those bubbles out. That's the whole point of tipping with the brush is you want to get all the bubbles out from the rolling because it gets diluted so thin with that 333 that it will make air bubbles. So you want to just very lightly come across like this and everything will even out, all the brush strokes will even out. So on something like this you can do the whole hull with the brush and the interlux <coughs> and the paint. On a big boat you'd want to do it with a uh, with a roller just because of uh, saving some time. But in a matter of saving some time I'm going to continue to do this and then I'll give you a quick uh, shot of when, when I'm done and how it looks. All right, so after uh, after about 20 minutes or so, you can see this is the first coat, so you might see some some flaws in it, but for a first coat before wet sanding it, I think it did pretty damn good. That's what's so amazing about this stuff. So I'm gonna continue with this. Uh, probably sand it down, maybe spray it or roll and tip it again. And then we're going to flip it over and start putting all the graphics on it. Uh, and we're going to keep on going. Alright, till next time.